In the video on quality control and fast QC, we saw that the quality drops at the end of the reads. This means that there is a high error rate, which could have a large influence on the downstream analyses. In the next step of a workflow, we will filter out low quality reads and trim the reads that have low quality base calls at the end of the read. We can do this with a tool called Trimomatic. You can find Trimomatic in the category NGS, QC and manipulation here. So if we go down a bit, we will see here Trimomatic. So just click on it to open. Then you have to select single end or paired end. And in the example that we have here, it is paired end. So we select paired end with two separate input files. We select our R1 here as the first of the pair and the R2 is already correctly selected as the second of the pair. Next, we have to set the Trimomatic operations. So the first default one is already filled in. It's called the sliding window trimming. The number of bases to average across is set to four and the average quality to 20. So this means that Trimomatic will use a sliding window with four bases each time. And if the average quality of those four bases drops below 20, it will discard the rest of the read that comes after this sliding window. Now, the average quality of 20 uh, that is specified here is okay for uh, most data. If you want really high quality, you could increase this to 30, but you have to make uh, the decision to either retain more data with of a bit less quality or less data with much higher quality. If you want to insert some more trimomatic operations, you just have to click on the button insert trimomatic operation. So if we click on it, by default, it will add the sliding window again, but we can change this for instance to minlen. So this will drop reads below a specified length. This can be interesting if for instance, you're doing amplicon sequencing, you have a 300 base pair amplicon, reads that are 150 base pairs or below will not overlap at all. So you might want to remove those. So if we say, for instance, that the minimum length of the reads you want to keep here in this example is 150, it will drop all the reads that are not uh, 150 base pairs long after the trimomatic operation that came before. You can keep adding trimomatic operations as many as you like. For a detailed overview, you can go to the help section over here, and there it shows you all the possible options that you can set. But for this example, the only thing that remains now is clicking execute. And you see that four output files will be created. So it's running now. We have two paired ones, the R1 paired and the R2 paired. And we have two unpaired ones, the R1 unpaired and the R2 unpaired. These unpaired reads are created because of the fact that some of the reads might be removed where the pair of that read is not removed. So say for instance, one of the reads was 140 base pairs long, the other one was 170, the 141 will be removed while the 171 remains, but is now unpaired. So those are those reads. Keeping those reads might still be interesting because there's still information in those reads. The only thing that you lose is the information that you got from the pair. Now, just to see what this trimomatic operation has as an effect on our data, we can run FastQC again. So we go to FastQC and we will run it on the paired reads that came from the trimomatic operation. We just click on execute and we will now get the true FastQC files on the paired reads after the trimomatic operation. So it will just take a few seconds to complete. And there we have it. So if we compare the quality of the R2 reads on the left before trimming and on the right after trimming, we can already see that the quality at the end of the reads has improved a lot. We can now continue our analyses with these high quality reads without having to worry about the bad quality basis at the end of the reads and the resulting errors that come from it.